This brand new map mod for BeamNG is Barkstead Village, a UK themed map. We've had the Somerset map in the past for this game, which is an amazing map, and I'm glad to see another UK style map. We're going to be driving around today in this police interceptor. It's a Hirachi Sunburst um, that's been modified with the skin pack, which is called British Emergency Service Skins. I'll leave a link to both the map and this skin pack in the description down below for you to check out. So, we're starting here at the gas station, or the petrol station if you want to get, be kind of UK about this. Um, we're going to be driving around the quite narrow roads of this map, and I think that is what this map really nails. Um, the town perhaps feels a little bit American just because it uses a lot of the assets from the base game, but in general, the roads in the countryside feel very, very British. Really amazing. Here we go. So yeah, Barkstead Village. It sounds to me like it would be in the south of England, um, kind of in like the home counties, sort of Berkshire, Oxfordshire, maybe that kind of region. Um, it's an area I know well in the UK. And as you can see, very narrow lanes, very typical of British villages. None of these wide American streets. Whoa, that's the horn I accidentally pressed there. I don't know, do UK police cars have those horns? I'm not 100% sure, but let's try the siren. Whoa, that is loud. No, I can't have that, that's way too loud. But yeah, that is a British siren, it's just uh, a little bit loud. So as you can see, all of these um, little narrow lanes with the village houses and shops on either side. These kind of brick buildings are very typical of Britain. Um, they might be a bit tall for like Britain, but yeah, you do see them in like cities and stuff. But then when you drive along, if I just come up here, there are a couple of text, uh, texture and mesh areas around, but yeah, a lot of these kind of like wood panelling or siding um, buildings, you don't really see in the UK. We don't really have wood fascias or wooden houses that much in the UK. Oh, dead end, cul-de-sac, very common for a British village. Uh, you end up getting into cul de sacs, get, taking wrong turns. You have to turn around in these narrow lanes. Right. Let's head out into the countryside, which I believe we can get to by going left. Oh, yeah. See, in narrow lanes, you've got to manage your speed. Uh oh. Front re rear tyre. Oh, no. For oh, dear. Front rear. I mean, front right. That's the end of the road. We need to turn around. Let's go left. Oh yeah, I need to turn on the nitrous, that'd be good. Yes! So in third gear the nitrous will activate, and uh, I think there may be a problem with this car in that the engine does blow up when you've used it. Oh, bit of off-road, nice. This interceptor is based on a Mitsubishi Evo or a Subaru Impreza. Um, in the UK we used to have, like in the 2000s, up to maybe like 2010-ish, a lot of these Mitsubishi Evos and Impreza's out on the road in police service, but now you don't see them that much, which is a bit of a shame, but um, they were quite expensive to run. And when they get wrecked, you know, it's quite hard to maintain them compared to like, you know, BMWs and Volvos that they have now. The engine's going to blow up, yeah. The engine does seem to blow up in this. Whoa! Okay, so if you press M, you'll be able to see the whole map. And there's a lot of things to visit. Um, unfortunately, no points of interest. They probably will update this uh, section here so you can teleport around. It's by Stuntman PS2. That is the username of the person who created this map. Um, which I think Stuntman was a game on... Yeah, PS2, it must be. So, we're going to visit this place. I don't really know what <laughs> this is meant to be, but it does look interesting. It's like a sort of parkour arena. Okay, we're going to need an off-road vehicle for this. So, let's go for the hopper. Ooh, we can go for an ambulance car. Yeah, or a fire department, yes. A UK fire department vehicle. Nice. Right, let's find an easy obstacle to start off with. Oh, they all look difficult. Over-revving it, damn it. Um, wow, look at these. Okay, let's start here. Can we start here? No. Where's the entrance to this? Over here? Oh my goodness. How do you... What? How are you meant to get up that? Okay. Let's go... Let's try and go up here. We should have enough torque. If I put it in low range... Here we go. No! 
Right. Run up. And go. Right, we're up. We're up the second one. Break. Break heavily, break heavily, 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 heavily. Whoa, where do we go? So we need to go right now. Oh, tyres, no. Tyres are broken. Right, there we go. Ooh. There we go. Uh, wait, hang on a minute. Where do we go from here? Oh, we meant to carry the speed. I think I'm doing it in the wrong direction. <laughs> I think I'm doing it in the wrong direction, yeah. Okay, let's try and teleport onto here then. Uh, let's tr go over here. There we go. I wasn't to know. Right, bit of a run up. Whoa! What the heck? There's like a a split height thing there. Oh, come on. Right, I'm going to cheat. Cheat! There we go. We're up. Let's see how much we can do on this. This is going to be difficult. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. That was close. Right. One more time. I think we can go into high range. Safely go into high range with this. Right. There we go. So we got to kind of ease it down. Whoa. And there we go. Yes. 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 Jump onto there. Very nice. Onto this rooftop. Somehow. I don't know how to do that. But there you go. That is an interesting um, arena you can kind of have some fun with. Now, is this an ice lake? It's the middle of summer, but it's like an icy lake. Let's have a go. Yes, it is. Whee! Oh, that's really cool. Reminds me of Forza Horizon 4, right? Wow. Yes. This is so much fun. Whee. Handbrake. Uh-oh. Didn't work at all. So that's cool. It's like an ice frozen over lake. Go, go, go. Yeah. So we're now in the Rock Dove, the off-road version of the pigeon. And here is a cave, a very interesting cave, because it's pretty long and pretty difficult. Uh, this is part of the map. I can't wait to have a look at it, but I entered it from the other direction. It was really difficult. And also really dark down here, so we need, we need to... No, just on. A bit more talk. There we go. Let's go left. I mean, look at how, look at how dark it is down here. I did a stream with uh, Spencer Johnson where we played one of his maps. Oh dear. And um, he recommended to turn up the gamma if you're ever in like one of these dark tunnels. I mean, look at that. <laughs> How dark it is. That's craziness. But as you can see, it's fairly long. Um, a pretty interesting tunnel. And the other side is like here. But yeah, just, just ridiculously dark. Ridiculously difficult. Let's see if we can skip ahead a little bit. Let's go over here, actually. I've changed my mind. Boom. Oh. Oh. I don't know why when you reset, the lights turn off. No. Uh, there's no way this thing's going to get down here. It's a really difficult tunnel, and I would recommend to the map creator, maybe just make this a bit easier, because it's kind of impossible. Um, it's pretty... Oh, it's just, yeah, ridiculous. But you could have some fun in there. I'm not very good at crawling, and um, I'd have to work out which vehicle would be best. Probably... The actual crawler vehicles um, would be best. But we've got more to explore. So where is the... Here we go. Here's a dirt kind of lane. Let's go in the police interceptor again. Have some fun on this dirt lane. See if we can get some drifting going. So. Oh. Over here. There we go. Right. Everything's off. The traction control is off. Right, let's go. Yes. This is a cool rally lane. Whoa. Now, the map I played last time, uh, Insane Rally, felt like a UK map, despite the fact we were driving on the right. The motorway felt very UK style, and the... What else? The, whoa. The um, the country lanes felt very UK, with, like, um, cobblestone walls, and, yeah, it's really cool. But uh, the amazing thing about that map, whoa, is that I think it's meant to be, like, a generic 
region. It could be anywhere like in Europe. So um, yeah, it, it's cool to see a, a specifically made UK style map. Um, and yeah, with a name like Barkstead, it could only be a UK map, couldn't it? Right, here we go. Banked curve here. Long banked curve. Nice. Whoa, that was not nice. Okay. Jeez. It's a bit bumpy here. Cut the corner, why not? Whoa, whoa. Can we get, get back on the road? Uh oh. There's a log. There's a log in the way. Yay. So much further. There it is. There's the main road. So from here, I think we should check out the really long road that goes right through the map, which is... Is it that one there? Yes, it is. Is there anything else we've missed? Aha! An industrial park. Maybe let's have a quick look at this. So yeah, a couple of no mesh things here. And this is the modern style camper. It's actually in the base game. It's a model from the base game. This is the kind of thing you'd see in the UK a lot. What? What is that on there? Like a... A bin bag or a trash bag? What the heck? Loads of excavators, like an excavator graveyard. That is interesting. Maybe this is a JCB, I don't know, factory or something. I don't know. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Right. Let's go to this long road and see what speeds we can get up to in this police interceptor. Oops. I spawned too far down the road. We're going to have to go around these trees. Uh... How do we get back? Can we get through here? Ugh. No. Goodness me. Come on. Here we go. The siren. Way too loud. Right. So this map is specifically made for low speed, narrow road driving. So it's very difficult to get up to that's the wrong way. It's very difficult to get up to a high speed on this map. And right turn. Ooh, we've got a roundabout here. Whoa. Oh, there goes the front bumper. We're all right. That is a very common style of housing estate in the UK, like to have like a cul-de-sac with a roundabout at the end. Here we go. Through the center of town, you can see it does feel quite American, apart from the fact that the road markings are very UK styled. Oh no, we're at the map. Boom. There we go. Right. Let's see if we can get down here. Yeah, that went surprisingly well. Come on. Right, let's switch to the ambulance because. We can do some interesting driving with that. So, a lot of different vehicles down here. We've got a UK police van, but I want the UK ambulance because this looks identical to a lot of ambulances we see in the UK, apart from the front bit, which is like an American style van. We usually have like Mercedes Sprinters or VW Crafter ambulances in this country, I think. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Perfect siren does feel great. I'd love to see like a UK city map. So if you're a map creator, please, a UK city map would be amazing. Wee! And the roads like have lots of undulations, they go up and down. Um, and combined with the narrow nature of all these roads, it's really difficult to maintain a high speed on these roads without crashing. Oh yeah. So that is pretty much all of Barkstead Village. Uh, if you want to see my video on Insane Rally, an amazing map I just made a video on, click the link in the top right hand side of your screen. Um, also make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell and like this video if you enjoyed uh, the BMG content. I've got lots more BMG content coming in the future and why not check out my Discord server where you can suggest me um, mods in the suggestions channel. So from me in BMG, the game just crashed. Perfect time to end. I will see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Make sure to join my Discord server from the link in the description. Simulator Adventures channel memberships are available from as little as $1.99 per month and grant you access to exclusive perks including members only videos. Click the join button below this video to find out more.